things off. The devious monkey here. As you can see, I'm outside. I've decided that I absolutely needed to go for a walk. It's not incredibly warm out today, but it isn't freezing cold either. And clearly the sun's out. What's going on? I just spent the day <laughs> doing, guess what? Filling out forms. I had 10 forms I had to fill out. And I mean, I was moving right along. No problems, doing them all. I get down to the point where I'm finished. I've gotten them all done. I've turned them all into program headquarters. And I was sending my boss an email, giving him a sort of a rundown on, on the numbers. And I'm looking and I'm like, why the hell doesn't that add up? That's not right. I'm thinking, okay, well, clearly maybe the form he did was wrong. And I looked at it, I added it up and I used a calculator and it was right. Then I went through and the first one I checked on mine was wrong. And it's like, what? How the hell can that be wrong? I used Excel to, to do a spreadsheet to figure out the costs based on the count. I, I mean, it's a freaking computer. So I went through and I checked them and every freaking figure was wrong. So I went through and I looked at the formula. I mean, it's take this line, multiply it by a dollar 10 and here's the number. But yet everyone was wrong. So I went in to the individual cell to see, I don't know, maybe it, it was configured differently. I checked it, I said it was currency, I put it out to two decimal points, and sure as shit, it still gave me the wrong numbers. So I had to go through with a calculator, do every one of those by hand, get what was correct, then I had to contact program headquarters to tell them that every form that I had turned in was incorrect and that I needed to redo it with the correct numbers in it. So, you know, disregard everything that I sent you earlier. I, you know, I mean, it didn't take me long. It was just the final number, but it's still like, Jesus. Then I had to go in with Adobe Acrobat. I had to edit every form, go in, change the number in the places where it was, you know, the final figure there was on the, on the form. And <laughs> see, I can't even talk, I'm so pissed. You know, it's like, come on. That's the whole reason I used Excel so that I didn't have to do it by hand. So now not only did I have to do it by hand, but you, you know, it's like I had to go through and do everything like three times because of the freaking program being wrong. So, uh, so I'm like coming down off that pissed off adrenaline kind of shit drives me crazy and you know and I'm fond of saying technology is both a blessing and a curse today it was a blessed curse let me tell you so that's done so I'm not I'm definitely not doing anything else today today's a late day for my wife so I mean I've got some time well as you can see now that I'm behind the hospital it, you know the it's already, the sun is set enough that you can't really see it right here, which means it's only a matter of time before it gets dark. I don't even know what time it is. Oh yeah, I mean, it's like 20 after five. <laughs> Shit, by the time I get around the blocks here for this walk, you'll see that, that you know, the sun's gonna go down quick and then it's gonna get really cold. Well, gonna get Virginia Beach cold. So as long as it's not raining going forward, and you know, and it's not 20 degrees out, which it shouldn't be. I gotta start walking again, at least once a day because I fell off that wagon and I haven't walked nearly enough and I need to. And I'm almost wondering if I'm spending too much time inside sitting at my desk, not getting enough exercise, so on and so forth. And that's why my sleep sucks. My sleep app has just showed me that I am not getting any kind of rest that's worthwhile 
And it's probably why I'm getting angrier and angrier every day because I'm, I'm deficient. What does it say? I've got a sleep debt. The other day, you know, cause it just, it's been so bad. It's gotten to the point where it said, if you go to bed right now and you sleep for nine hours and 53 minutes, you'll get out of debt. Even in sleep, I'm in debt, you know? It's crazy. But that ain't gonna happen. I don't sleep that long. There's no way. Well, first of all, I'm not gonna go to bed that early or go to sleep that early. And the second, I'm never gonna be able to sit there or lay there for 10 hours and sleep. By the time I got up, I'd be crippled. I wouldn't be able to move. That's half the reason I get out of bed. If I spend too much time in bed, my spine is just out of control. And it's already shit, so. All right, I'm currently using the A6600. I took it out of the cage and put it into the L bracket because the L bracket, it, like the, well, with the cage, it's got metal on the side that goes into the side of the gimbal. Oh, now I've got it on the Crane M2. And it just, I couldn't balance it. It was too hard and I got annoyed. So I pulled it out of the cage, put it in the L bracket. It still didn't balance perfectly like I normally get it, but I don't give a shit. It's enough to make this thing work somewhat. I know that it's a little bit heavy, but you know, whatever. It'll do. So I've got, yeah, again, the A6600 with an L bracket, Peak Design standard plate, Rode Wireless Go on the top. As you can see, I'm using that. And I've got it on my Zoom Crane M2 to go for this walk. Just because I know it'll, it'll look horrible if I tried to handhold this. I really like these A6600s. And even to the point where I still have a daily battle with wanting to sell that ZV-1 and just buy a third A6600 for the overhead cam and then just have all my lenses that I can use. The, the ZV-1, it, it was great until it wasn't. Until I realized how much I really like the A6600s. I mean, that's why I bought the second A6600, which again, I had intended to use as just a stills camera, but here I am doing a lot of my filming on it. And I'm not gonna take the ZV-1 with me. I don't like a flippy screen, which then still leads me down to this A6600. I love this camera. It's perfect for me. I know how to use it. I had a little bit of a problem there with that firmware upgrade. I've since gotten around that. So all is well there. What more can I ask for? So here I am, happy with my cameras. I have got a lot of editing to do because I've shot probably four videos in the time I've been walking because I keep changing my mind on what I want to talk about and deciding that whatever I did talk about was stupid and I'm not gonna post it. So there we go. All right, sort of a blathering video today. And in the end, I don't even know what it's gonna say, but whatever. So as always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.